Well, these are, of course, um, measures that might help in the short term. I think they are unable to, to change the prospects for Turkey and Turkish lira in the long, medium to long term. I think the question uh, one has to ask themselves as an investor is uh, whether this is, uh, or to which degree, this is a story, an idiosyncratic story about uh, about Turkey, about the mother of all EM sins here, meaning a, a, a rapid build-up in external debt, or whether the Turkish turmoil is, is telling us something broader, something more systemic. I think we, uh, our belief is that the latter is the case, meaning that the problems Turkish has today is primarily a reflection of the global liquidity tide turning, primarily, of course, of the fact that U.S. dollar liquidity is drying up. This is a big problem for a lot of emerging market economies. And clearly, Turkey being one of the weakest links is, is the first to be hit. Yes, Vital, that makes me wonder whether or not it's not U.S. President Donald Trump that President Erdogan really has a problem with, whether it's more the Fed's Jerome Powell here, because what is going on at the Federal Reserve? Many have wondered, is this just the start? Could Turkey be more of a symptom, really, rather than a cause for what's going on in the EM space? Absolutely right, Nancy. And uh, we, we have the same view here, because the tragedy for a lot of emerging market economies is really that they are not defining their own um, monetary policy. Their monetary policy is to a large degree being defined uh, in Washington. And, mm. and this is, of course, a problem when you, at the same time, you have a, what we would call a kind of disruptive divergence when it comes to the economic destiny of the major regions in the global economy, meaning the U.S. doing well, global, uh, sorry, U.S. growth, um, holding up well, where at the same time we are seeing weakness in other regions, first and foremost in China. The net result of this is, of course, dollar strength. And um, we think that the dollar is absolutely key in defining the global monetary conditions going forward. And therefore, of course, also uh, what will happen with the emerging markets, with the broader emerging market space. And since we expect the dollar to continue to strengthen, we do not think that Turkey's problems stop here with a few short term measures by the central bank. Vitol, it's interesting because we did see the Bank Indonesia hike rates. I think just last week that would not have been the consensus expectation there considering the path they've already been down. Now I'm reading some chatter here on Dow Jones that some are anticipating that the India central bank could move to support the rupee, which did earlier hit a record low. Is it your expectation that other central banks and emerging markets will now have to take on a more tightening bias? Absolutely. And ultimately, I think the Turkish Central Bank will have to do something as well, uh, especially if they want to avoid uh, having the IMF walking through the door. And I think Mr. Erdogan clearly wants to avoid that. But mm. the interesting thing about India is that it is, in, in, in many respects, uh, kind of an outlier in the emerging market space, uh, since it has, uh, it's, it's a much less open economy than, than others, but still it is facing these problems. And there's a brilliant example of uh, the fact that it is very, very difficult to avoid some kind of contagion when, when these problems really hit uh, one country, even in the, in the, in the less uh, vulnerable spaces like, like India still is, in my, uh, in my view. So for an investor, it's very, very difficult to hedge intra-EM. And therefore, I think the best answer here uh, from a strategy point of view is still to be underweight uh, the region uh, as a whole, uh, in particular on the equity space and, and the fixed income space. I think you clearly want to avoid local currency debt uh, but in, uh, but uh, we have seen the recent, the recent weeks that, that uh, even hard currency debt is not shielded from these problems. Hey, everybody. It's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now, to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.